Alrighty, boys and girls, it is the next day. So we're here in Hatley, Wisconsin. We're gonna unload the dump truck now. I'm pretty sure he's just gonna grab it by the skid steer and kick it to the side off the trailer because, well, it's on backwards and it don't roll. Well, I guess if you list it on the ass hand, you might break the trailer down. We'll find out. Lift that jump box off up. What's that? I'll just lift it off. Huh? Yeah, I was wondering if you wanted me to break it down or not, because they. Know, All right, cool. I'm coming right now. If you want to go, I don't. Do you know what yours looks like? Or?
All right, cool. I gotta break it down. Hey, that truck looked right there. I think I brought them that a one just like it. I'd have to look back, but I'm willing to bet you I brought them that truck right there. I think that one came out of Alabama. I think that's the one uh, Peterbilt lifted the tow truck. I'd be willing to bet you. I don't know, maybe not. What's that? I should have figured that would happen. At least it ain't raining yet. Oh, I suppose to rain later? I'm not oh. I don't watch the news, I'm sick of getting light too. Weather's probably, well, maybe not. I'll just say weather might be worse, but then again. What's that? They even loaded it for you. We're really stepping up in the world. Yeah, no shit. I was either out, it's gonna be a fixture in their yard.
brother? Not much. Cause you trouble? Oh, I'm trying to. <laughs> leave while I leave. <laughs> Early seasons were most a lot of Carlisle trucks. Bring it in. Let's see how the other one looks. You're gonna have to turn it the other way. So I got Orwell behind me. Orwell's the big old star of the show. 1984 Peterbilt 362 cab over. For all you guys that are new to the channel. Feel free to subscribe, like, and all that happy crap, because trust me, I got some videos coming up that should really blow this channel into the stratosphere. I pray. Now, with that, what are we doing here in Chilton? Well, we just got loaded. This is not the typical load that we do for them. So, I found out I had an option to get out to Tacoma, Washington. And uh, at first, I turned it down. And then, by the time I thought, you know what, let me get my crap straight, I was a week early. 
I said, you know what? Let me try to get that load. Well, that load had already been moved. Uh, another one of our drivers got it. So I got this one instead, which I might have done better because it's nice and light. Look at the fuel economy I'll get now. So I figure I'd talk to you guys about it. We've been trying to get a piece of equipment out of uh, Seattle area loosely. We're going to have to talk about that because that's big news for the channel coming up here. And I uh, can't wait to talk to you guys about it. So with that, there's our load. Big old snow plow, some pallets of parts, and then uh, broom, not broom, yeah, brooms. The, you know, the broom with the bristles to spin for the airports. Refill cartridges, a blade for the bottom of another plow, I think a belly plow. So yeah, this is all for another truck that went up there ahead of time. This stuff goes to the port of Tacoma, and then up from there it gets shipped to Alaska, ultimately is where it goes. So, but yeah, that's what we're doing. All right, well, let's go ahead and get Orwell fired up, get the GoPros running. So we're gonna stop home tonight, and then tomorrow we're gonna leave out and start heading out that way. Well, with that, let's hit it. We got stuff to talk about. Underway. Like I said earlier, we're gonna stop home for the night and then tomorrow we're gonna get going. himself. So tomorrow the plan is we're going to take care of some small stuff that we need to do for the truck and then that'll basically be it. Just some small stuff in the morning, nothing big. Change fuel filters, stuff like that. So yeah, we've been talking for a while now about this equipment that I picked up, and I keep referring to it like that because it's two separate pieces. First piece we're picking out is a smaller one, then the second one, we're gonna need a crane. I already got quotes, that's how we're gonna do it. It's gonna be done by crane. Wreckers want way too much money. Cranes are more uh, affordable, believe it or not, even though they're bigger than wreckers can't quite figure that out but whatever price is price what's this way it takes a little bit less originally we we're thinking about using telehandlers but then once I got equipment on my truck I can't exactly take the telehandler back and then uh, the telehandler company is gonna charge me to haul the telehandler back and I don't really know if Dominique's trailer can handle a, a big telehandler so we just decided to go with a crane instead that way on the second trip i really shouldn't need dominique and bobby for much of anything um obviously they're looking to come down and film i would prefer it if they did just in case we do run into a snag that's basically the idea now, i don't know how the videos are going to come out between Dominique and me but because they're helping out and they're putting a little bit of money out there to do it too um actually they already did they already spent a considerable lot of time on getting me some information but anyway when I break what it is it's actually going to be on Dominique's channel uh, on a video that she already filmed just haven't released it yet Stuck behind a lawnmower. Watch, the red light's gonna get me. Come on, lawnmower man, let's go! So we'll be releasing. 
and what it is and all of that stuff on Dominique's channel so be sure to watch and subscribe her channel and then shortly after her video comes out if it plays out right I should already have taken possession of one of the two pieces so I'm not sure how this video so I'm not sure how it's going to play out between the two of them I should say but man oh man am I excited because I'm really trying hard and I've, been, I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. I've been handling a lot of personal things. My stuff involving my children, stuff involving my family. And it really put me in a position where I haven't been taking care of business as much as I wish I could have. And I haven't been pushing the YouTube channel to grow as much as I maybe should have. But I had family obligations I had to take care of. So now that all of that's done, now I'm trying. And this particular little gem comes from a contact I made at the Mid-America Trucking Show. Remember, I wasn't even sure if I even wanted to go. But I did, and it was a good thing that I did. We're at the shop. So now, I'm just gonna bring what I need home. We'll come back tomorrow or later for it. And tomorrow, we'll work on the truck. Tonight, I guess I'll just edit.